How's it going guys? I'm Paradise and we're back with another Monster Hunter Rise video, another Insect Glaive video as well because this weapon is shaping up to be absolutely incredible. You may remember we did the Insect Glaive review, me and 269, where we talked about it. We showed off all of the different uh, switch moves and the new Silk move, the Diving Wyvern attack. Well, there's been some new information out there by Cups and Po Chi. The sources are in the description as well. That actually shows that the Diving Wyvern switch skill scales with uh, your aerial modifier. And since that information's come out there, I thought I would do a bit of a deep dive into the numbers and the maths behind it. I'm no maths expert. I've literally just been to school like everyone else, but I thought I would see how far I could go and exactly what information we could get to sort of put it out there and share it with you guys. So these are my findings essentially, guys. So the Diving Wyvern is this switch skill here that you'll see me cast, where you plunge up into the sky and plunge back down, or if you're already in the air, such as like this, you go straight into the plunge. Now, we already said in the weapon review that there was an aerial modifier, but what we didn't know is that there's actually different charge levels to the aerial modifier. And this is going to be something that's going to open up a whole new world of possibilities to Insect Glaive mains, and may even convince people to switch over to them. They already have the awesome Kinsects with the different types, the Assist Kinsect and all of that kind of stuff, but with this aerial modifier that has these different charge levels, I think that we're going to see some proper aerial insect glaive sort of playstyles focused around it. Now what I mean when I say aerial charge modifiers is that when you're in the sky with the insect glaive, you can do up to three attacks. That's excluding dodges. You can essentially jump, then you can dodge, but then you can also attack. And if you land that attack, you get a hit off like you can see here. Now every hit that you get, as you can see the damage numbers are changing because that different charge level, the first hit, the second hit, and the third hit, is an independent modifier that adds bonus damage to your attack up to the third charge when you can't go into any more aerial attacks and you'll be forced to land. That goes one step further with the Diving Wyvern switch skill actually infecting the modifier for this aerial uh, charge level. So if you are on the end of your third attack charge in the air and you finish with a Diving Wyvern Plunge, you will actually do a lot more damage than if you did it on the first or the second charge or just off of the ground like I literally am right here. So I'll pull up on screen a slow motion example using green sharpness and also all of the buffs for the kin set, all of the different colored jellies, and you'll see that the damage numbers go up across the screen as you're on level 1, 2, or 3. So I'm going to show this to you live right now, guys, and see if we can get a really good example of it. I'm going to jump into the sky with all the jellies and green sharpness. We're hitting about 37 on the head. Then we hit 45 on the second charge. Then about 49 on the final charge. So there you can see that your actual just aerial attacks are affected by this. And we would have actually hit more on that level 3 charge, but our sharpness just dings down to yellow, as you can see. So essentially, the more aerial combos you do, the more of this like hidden charge modifier you're getting to your attacks. That applies to the dive and plunge. Now, I won't do a live example of the dive and plunge with these different charge levels because there's loads of different hitboxes on the trading dummy. And I might miss. So what I've done is I've pre-recorded -recor getting the plunge with all three jellies, with green sharpness each time, with the same insect glaive, with a weapon and a build that has no armor. So there's no affinity, there's no weakness exploit, there's no chance for these damage numbers to be inconsistent. So as you'll see on screen, with zero charge from the floor or level one, two or three charge from being in the sky, that the damage difference jumps each time. Level, charge level 0 is our basic 100% sort of base point to go off of. Charge number 1 it goes up to 119%, 2 to 146, and 3 to 193. Now these are rounded up to the nearest percent, but what I noticed is that if we actually round those percentages up to the nearest 10, then we actually can see a really sort of easy to follow and understand pattern of how much damage we're actually getting with each charge level. So guys, I'm gonna bring up the actual damage numbers of the Diving Wyvern with the different charge levels all the way from zero to one to two and three on the screen now. Now what you're gonna see might look a bit complicated as there's just a whole bunch of numbers, but essentially the top row is the damage percentage of each hit 
to the nearest digit. And then the one below it is rounded up to the nearest tenth digit. And this gives us a much easier sort of picture to follow where we're going from the basic 100% damage to 120% with the first charge, 150% with the second charge, and 190% with the third charge. And this can be broken down into basically saying that when you hit the first charge, you get 20% extra damage. When you hit the second charge, you get a bonus 30% damage on top of that for 50% damage total. And then the third charge is an extra 40% damage on top of that for an extra 90% damage total. And guys, these are damage numbers when I'm wearing actually zero gear pieces and I'm using this not fully upgraded rarity insect glaive. So even though 382 is the highest I'm hitting, you can hit substantially higher if you have a build made to do those big raw damage numbers. You could hit around or higher than a thousand quite easily on the third level charge by doing aerial insect glaive wyvern diving. It's absolutely insane. I thought I would share this with you guys, show my sort of researched findings of the maths. And I just think it's going to be a game changer for Insect Glaive builds. You can literally make aerial builds that are focused around doing aerial damage and finishing it off with the diving wyvern attack. It's absolutely awesome. Let me know what you think of this down in the comments below. I'm really keen to know if this sort of changes anyone's mind about playing the Insect Glaive. I really can't see why you would not use this skill over the Kinsect Recall skill. It obviously has its niche uses, but considering you're literally getting up to 90% bonus damage and it's already a very hard hitting move, I just think this is an absolutely awesome skill for the Insect Glaive. So guys, I hope you appreciate the time it took me to research in the training room and figure all of this out. Do drop a like down below and subscribe for more videos like this one or more videos where we cover different skills, different weapons, or where we're opening up 50 talismans like we did yesterday on the channel. If you missed that video, it is up on the channel from yesterday, so make sure to check that out as well, guys. I hope you're all staying safe, and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching this video. You can check me out over on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Paradise Central. Make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.